SpongeBob is on a rampage. First, it took over the Super Bowl commentary, which was the only way to watch the game. Don't believe me? Have a look. not what this is about. This is about SpongeBob interfering and taking over Roblox. And they've teamed up with the evil corporation GameFam. Oh, you don't know about GameFam? I'm sorry. Let me catch you up. Great. Glad they're on the same page. Now, if I was an evil corporation trying to make as much money as possible on a game without really having to put much effort into the idea, what would I do? I'd steal the concept off of another popular game, one that was known for making money. Enter in the Pet Simulator space. Now, normally this would never work out. Pet Simulator is known for taking down games. But this is GameFam we're talking about. GameFam is known for being a studio that buys the copyright IPs for pop culture icons and then makes games out of them. Them. Things like Sonic Speed Simulator, Barbie Dreamhouse Tycoon, My Hero Academia, which is what sparked the controversy like a month ago where they actually themselves started taking down a lot of copyrighted games that had the My Hero Academia characters in their games, much like how Pet Simulator did, which is why it's interesting that Pet Simulator has now been ripped off by this game right here, SpongeBob Simulator. The question is, is it any good? I am here to find out. You got the music and everything? Okay, this is so like nostalgic and everything. All right, let's just go ahead and play. Oh, we're going under the sea. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> okay, we get to choose our first buddy. We got SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. I think of these three, I think Patrick's probably my favorite. I want to know though, what is your favorite SpongeBob character? My favorite SpongeBob character is actually a uh, Doodle Bob. Let's go. Come on, Patrick. <laughs> it's got eggs. And you just come up and you just start clicking and he punches it and you get the coins. Bro, why is this actually low-key really good. Look at Patrick just run beside me, man. Oh, he fell. The pets, the buddies, there's Gary right there. You can get a morph to unlock. The question is, is it also be crazy pay to win? Here's the shop. You got all of these for 500 Robux. You can buy the eggs and look at this right here. The sea bear with a 0.5 and there is your time <laughs> This is amazing and ridiculous at the same time. Let's go open a clam to collect a new buddy. There we go. Now we got ourselves a SpongeBob. As somebody like grew up watching like SpongeBob, sort of, I love every aspect of this. They have spared no expense. Just look at the aesthetic. You got bikini bottom boats, hoverboards, nah, boats. I can dress up as SpongeBob. There's Patrick swimsuits. There's a sh sandy shoulder pads. Oh my God. They even put Preston in the game. I like money. I can be Squidward. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Squidward. And there we go. I am now a buff Squidward word wearing spongebob clothes with plankton and a computer wife karen behind me i have now become squidward <laughs> all right we gotta get three thousand coins here i have gotten really used to the fact that i'm able to in pet simulator 99 just to kind of walk through the area and then the pets will take care of it for me without having to like worry about clicking here you still have to click but at least it's nice like once you click it once it'll do the rest kind of like how it was in pet simulator x let's unlock this area Woo! All right, let's do this. Look at this little uh, fountain, even though we're underwater. How does that make sense? All right, I'm gonna save SpongeBob. I gotta destroy 30 wooden crates. I gotta get 50 balloon piles, and I have to open five basic or golden flower clams. That's actually getting a little bit harder, which actually makes sense. The further we go back, the harder it gets, just like in every simulator game you get. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and collect a little bit more pets. I think I can hold four at the moment without having to like start spending crazy Robux in this game. We got a construction snail, Gary. Okay, one more. Another construction. I want Squidward, bro. Let's open three. <laughs> by triple click. They were like, nah, Pet Simulator 99, they give you too much. If that is that much, how much is times eight? Oh my God. That's like $15. At least you can turn on the auto open, which is something I don't have enough money. Okay, that's fine. I've got four characters and a dream. I can try some deluxe OP clams, which uh, basically is just the pay to win egg in Pet Simulator. We also have the mention of the Super Bowl. And there it is right here. This is further 
waterproof it. All of these things are connected. And if you wanted to, you could get a... Oh, wait, it's out of stock. Never mind. Don't don't worry about that. <laughs> I'll steal it off your face, Patrick. You got the Clam Codex, which is basically the pet index. What's the Super Goober Clam up here? You have to unlock in Kelp Forest 12. All right, with my new pets, we're going to see if we can start breaking some things a little bit faster. Wait, what's this? Oh, I got player speed. Okay, all right, so you're unlocking things throughout the map. Wait, this might be copyrighted. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, low key, dude. I've been so involved with this game. We're almost done. Just this last little doubloon pile. And there we go. We can now officially save SpongeBob. We've done it. It says destroy one SpongeBob license. Start final task. Wait, what's that mean? Wait, wait, wait. It says Bikini Bob ID card. Lives in a pineapple under the sea. Employee of the month. 374 consecutive months. Last seen looking for Gary. Best nose flute player in all of Bikini Bottom. How do I break it? Bro. Why can't I destroy? Do I just look at it? Fred, I'm going to need you to look at the license. My eyes! I don't think that worked, Fred. I'm just going to click unlock. I could have done all of this or I could have spent 500 Robux and bought it. I don't know how to beat the thing. I don't know how to do that. What I do know how to do is this parkour to unlock the magnet range. I love that you like have to do little things like find little areas to unlock stuff. And they're not like related to pay to win. That part I do like. That's what I want to see more of. And I do like the fact that you could do something free to play it gives you the both option which is really nice oh now it works all right this is gonna take a minute which is actually funny because this is the perfect time to use this 20 minutes later and it's done like i beat it and i knew it's cool i was free to play it's proud of my free to play and what does the game reward me with oh a special offer for pay to win <laughs> That sucker bought it once. Let's see if he'll buy it twice. Joke's on you. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it twice. Ha ha. See, now what? We've saved SpongeBob. We've completed it. Can we claim it? Yes, we can. And can we morph? I'm SpongeBob. Look at me. Oh my God. Look at how I run. <laughs> this is amazing. You get little emojis that you can pop up if you're playing a game with friends. Okay, here's the chat lines. I thought he would play it. That sucks. Okay, well, that's not fun. Oh, it's Bikini Bottom. We got all of the neighborhood. There's my house right here. Dude, if we could go in, that would be amazing. I don't think we can. Well, I bought a bunch of stuff. I don't know what I bought. I bought these letter clams. We got a lifter. Lifter Sadie. Another lifter Sadie. A lifter Debbie. Give me a lifter Larry. That's what I need. I literally have only gotten the worst two you could get. And they aren't even better than the best pet I already got, which is only out of the second egg. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that's it. Where's the dislike button on this game? Second egg, Fred. Already more powerful than this egg right here that you buy one of. It's less popular, bro. That's that's ridiculous. The only thing is maybe it has one of those things where, oh, there it is right there. It's a deluxe. The reason that it's lower is because it's actually 85% of your best buddy. So when I go to this egg right here and open it. Oh. Okay, that's awkward. And open it, and I get a clam. <laughs> and another clam. Oh, I got a Debbie! Okay, Lifter Debbie's bigger than regular Debbie. And the clams are worthless. All right, well, if we're really gonna test this out right here, we're gonna need to go get some more coins. And I could run all the way back, or I could drive my boat. Uh, you saw the license. SpongeBob got his license. He he really did. No! SpongeBob, wrong way! Okay, 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 SpongeBob. Who gave you a license? It's time for the imagination box. We got Sandy! I can be Sandy! Let's go. I got plus one jump power. Does each morph have its own like special ability? She's a three star. Why is she three star? Oh, she's got all these. Whereas SpongeBob only has one. Let's equip our best people and let's get to grinding. Oh my god, I just got enough to do the golden seaweed purchase. Teleport to spawn. I can open one. What is it? Dave! Oh, Dave is real good. Fred was 48 and was my best. And then Dave came in and was like, bro, wait, can I get a better boat? Wait, is this the rock bus thing? Oh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Woo! All right, well, now that we have zero coins again, let's see if th the addition of Dave has made a difference. A 
I'd say the addition to Dave was worth it. We already got 100,000 going to the next area. Oh, it looks like we're in the Plankton's area. Wait, Squidward has a secret? Time travel scrap. Wait, get a hint for 1,200 rupees. All right, I'll purchase a hint. Hello, fellow art and music lover. There are 15 time travel scraps hidden around Conch Street. Find the all to unlock the secret area. Oh, wait, here they are. One, two, three. There's some more over here. 12, 13, 14, and 15. I have done it. And you'll unlock a secret area. Is the secret area behind the waterfall, perhaps? Release Caveman SpongeBob. You have claimed your secret reward. <laughs> yes. This is amazing. Oh, God, I think this video it might get age-restricted. You can totally see SpongeBob's butt. I don't think that loincloth is doing it too much for you there, Spongy. All right, I apparently just gave my caveman SpongeBob some uh, stardust, and now he's all the way up to a level four, which means I can do an emo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It? All right, so far, this has been an amazing game, but it actually gets a little bit cooler because if we hop on our rock and we go all the way back, we can actually do something in this game that you cannot do in Pet Simulator, and that's have a plankton boss battle. He said, fools, did you think you could simply buy your way into jellyfish fields? Ha 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 Nobody gets through this without defeating my guard bot 3000, and I actually have to get buddy power. How do I get buddy? power. Wait, is the buddy power just unlocking more pets? Is that all you have to do? So if I go to my items and I open up this next deluxe clam and I get a deluxe Sadie, it doesn't count for the exclusive eggs. You have to just unlock the regular eggs. All right, I have 224. I can open up one of these things. A karate sandy! <laughs> yep, that definitely took it up. One more egg. Any of them should do. That should do it. Construction snail should have put me over the three. It did. Okay. Come on, Larry. Put me over the Top. Put me over the top, Larry. Bully! What the heck, bro? Why is it not working? All right, I'm gonna purchase one more. What if I can get one of these bigger people? Come on, come on, give me something good. Oh, not Larry. That doesn't do anything for me, man. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It's time to start spending Robux. You can buy the imagination box and get some morphs to make you stronger. We also got unlimited teleports, permanent magnet, extra pet slots. Yeah, that might actually do it right there. If I can do the extra pet slots, and now I have five, when I equip Equip the best that should put me over what I needed it to do. There it is. This only counts for how strong your actual team is, not how many pets you have. Let's see what three more we got. We got a Sandy, we got a Patrick, and we got the art teacher Squidward. It's time to go beat up Plankton. Challenge the Guardian. I have 180 seconds to destroy it. Uh, okay. Go, man. Beat him. Hey, at least he's not like taking out my people. He's just kind of just chilling, and I'm collecting all the rewards one of us one of us are we doing good dude i feel like this is like a weird like pokemon go battle right now where we are raiding a gym and we're trying to take out the person and you have a certain time limit to do it in but it looks like we've done almost half damage in literally like 20 seconds It is done! It is done! I've unlocked a whole new world! What is this bonus egg, bro? This is like a weird plankton egg! It's about to break! It's about to break! It is... Wait, you got a guardian clam. Okay, let's open the guardian clam. What do we get? Spiked guardian! It's a goober! Why is it only worth that, bro? We've now made it to jellyfish fields. There's another Squidward secret. We can do some parkour to get a plus one max equip buddy. I'm gonna admit, we've made it pretty far far in this game, but as you can see, things start to heat up pretty quickly. Because I am who I am, it's time to make Mr. Krabs very happy. I like money. Because we're gonna buy ourselves a bunch of game passes. The rubies are the diamonds in Pet Simulator X. It's basically the same thing. I don't even know what you can buy with it, but hey, I got 155,000 of them. We'll use them at some point or another, right? On top of which, this game has potions, but uh, it's actually called shakes in this. But what I want is either a Lifter Patrick, a 
Lifter, SpongeBob, or a Sea Bear. That's what I want. It's the huge pet equivalent in this game. Let's see if we can get it. That's right. I'm draining the rest of my Robux on this. So make sure you use star code Nightfox when you buy Robux. Gives me a 5% kickback from Roblox. You support me and you take money away from the people that are taking money away from you. It's a win-win. We've got 30 clams to our name. I'm gonna hatch on top of this rock. Hopefully we'll get lucky. You can only hatch one at a time. Oh my God, this is gonna take a minute. All right, it's time to speed run this. Yep, that uh, that went about how I expected it to go. We are, um, <laughs> we're about 50,000 Robux down and well, we got ourselves a team of Sandys. No huges and a big waste of money. But maybe that's for the best. This game doesn't feel like it's very much so geared towards the pay to win. Minus just like a few upgrades have having like, you know, a nice mount or having teleports or whatever like that just to make the game a little bit more fun. The only like crazy pay to win parts is the ability to open more than one egg at once, but it's Definitely not the end of the world if you can't do it. I got a goobertastic soccer Patrick. Is that worth anything good? Oh, it is. This is my final team. Absolute powerhouses. What are my final thoughts on the game? I, oh God, I hate that I really like this game. I hate that it's actually really well done. If it wasn't made by Game Fam and they weren't like so mean to their developers and just kind of like power hungry and stuff, I would play this game more often. I kind of want to see what's at the end of the line. What happens when you get to the very last area? What are the rubies for? What does a huge pet look like? There's a lot of unanswered questions left to still find out. I love that there's emotes. I love that there are boss fights in this game. This is basically what I would want. Believe it or not, Pet Simulator might need to actually take some notes. You gotta go on little scavenger hunts, all while trying to do the same exact game mechanic that you would do in most Pet Simulator games. I'm definitely a fan. Just like I'm a fan of anybody who hits that subscribe button, anybody who goes down and clicks that next video, for me. I'd be a big fan of that. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see more and I'll see you guys later.